I think it's important to remember that in Adventure Time, evil is not necessarily what we think of as true evil. Remember that Hunson Abadir met Gunther and proclaimed him to be the most evil. Yet, on multiple occasions, we've seen Gunther doing things which would be considered kind or good. I believe that this is somewhat of the point of the show. I think it instills in those who watch it, young and old alike, that there is no such thing as black and white. It shows us that everyone has a motivation for their actions that they personally don't consider evil, even if the outcome can be objectively considered evil. Hunts and Abadir is a good example of the duality of morals. On one hand, he has a lot of love for his daughter Marceline, and he wants to see her happy. However, his idea of what will make her happy is wrong and causes him to do some evil things. Obviously evil in a lot of ways, being the lord of evil, but here we are given the insight that even the most evil being ever has some good inside, no matter how limited. You really have to separate good and evil in Ooh from the moral good and bad. Evil in the Adventure Time universe isn't necessarily bad. Take the Abadir example. He's clearly the ultimate of chaotic evil. He practically even says it in the show. He's pure chaos, but chaos in the sense of just random, unabashed action. Typically, that's bad stuff like giving the guy abs on his face or making the other guy puke bananas. But deep down, he's not a terrible guy all of the time. Peppermint Butler is probably the epitome of lawful evil. He's helped Finn and Jake out on numerous occasions, even not overreacting when he got the So Spice hot sauce dropped in his eye by accident when Finn and Princess Bubblegum were pranking Lemon Grab. However, as we've seen, when he expects to receive Finn and Jake's flesh as payment, or his obvious dark magic involving demon souls and using cinnamon bun as some sort of sacrifice, he's clearly an evil guy, but evil in the service of good. Also look at Flame Princess, who after being clearly described as evil, isn't all that bad of a person. She's by far the most normal of the princesses and was really nice to Finn for a prolonged amount of time. Sure, she goes nuts and burns shit down, but it doesn't seem to be uncontrolled, and it's usually for a reason, like she thinks Finn is trying to hurt her, or she thinks the Ice King is teasing her. To take it a step deeper though, one could argue that while the evil characters aren't necessarily bad, the good characters aren't necessarily all that good. Princess Bubblegum is clearly some sort of neutral good, but has on numerous occasions done obviously bad things, like her dealings with Princess Cookie, her torture of Ice King and Wizards Only Fools, and her general treatment of Finn are all examples of where good characters can do bad things in the name of good. Hell, she was willing to let Finn suffocate to put out Flame Princess when she was overheating. Yeah, man, hey. It's 2018, man. Happily ever after theorists doing big things. 